Eyewitness News is covering the economy now. Tonight, we're taking a look at a local company that's flourishing. Just a few years old, it's based in Providence and founded by a Rhode Island native. And now it's looking to create new jobs in the state. From the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson is in the capital city. This isn't your grandfather's work environment, but this Providence Technology Company says they're ready to take the capital city by storm and improve the state's economy at the same time. Take one look around Swipely and you may think you're in a coffee shop or maybe a sports bar. But don't be fooled by the casual atmosphere. These people are hard at work. We have lunch brought in every day. We have the beer fridge. The dress code is to dress. Um, but we're also a place where folks can really see the impact of their work each day. Call it a piece of Silicon Valley right here in the Ocean State. That's what founder and CEO Angus Davis was going for when he started up Swipely in 2010. Davis is a Bristol, Rhode Island native, but he worked in San Francisco for 10 years. Now he's hoping his technology company can make a big impact in the country's smallest state. And we help local merchants like restaurants and retailers understand their customers better and use that understanding to help them grow their sales. Local clients like Hot Club, Julian's and Gracie's have already jumped in. And companies in 40 states across the U.S. are also joining at a rapid rate. As a whole, Swipely is growing too. They ballooned from 30 employees four years ago to 100 now. And today they announced an additional $20 million in venture capital funding. It will enable us to continue aggressively growing our team here in Providence. Davis says he hopes that expansion becomes an even bigger boon for the state's struggling economy. We're excited to be a good news story of a company that's, you know, adding a lot of jobs as opposed to the other way around. And Swipely is hiring. I'm told that at any given time there could be 15 jobs available. The goal is to have 135 people working here by the end of 2014. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.